my brother, I don't care what you do. I do, but, you know, it's figure of speech. Do whatever you want. Just don't leave your son alone. Can you do that? Just don't leave your son alone. Don't, don't, don't be an oppressor. Don't take the rights of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And look how shaitan works. How many of us have we heard this? Brother, how do you want me to pray and I have a girlfriend? True. Brother, how do you want me to pray and I go clubbing and I drink alcohol? See, do you see how shaitan works? Brother, explain something to me. Me drinking alcohol is haram, yes or no? Yes. So that's one wrong. How does me not praying make that right? How do two wrongs make a right? You drinking alcohol is one haram. But you not praying, Habibi, that's a whole new world. Nah, brother, you know, I heard that that's a sign of hypocrisy. No, that's not hypocrisy. And this burns me, you know. Some of the boys, they'll come to a drug dealer that does haram, right? Yeah, he sells drugs, he does haram, but he prays. So what do the boys do thinking it's wisdom? They pick on the only good thing he does. Brother, you're a hypocrite, man. Why? You do this and you do this, you do that and you pray. So what does the brother end up doing? What does the brother end up doing? Yeah, of course, he ends up leaving his salah. I think, wallah, brothers, thank you. The only good that was in his life, you turned him away from it. You want to go clubbing, Akhi? Do you want to go clubbing? Go. But this is, this is my advice. Pray, Aisha, and then leave. And what's funny? My brothers, you and I laugh. We turn people off salah. Why? Because you think that deen is according to what's in your mind. Brother, two wrongs don't make a right. You pray no matter what. Your prayer is between you and Allah and no man can stand between it. Pray. I don't care what it is. Pray. Brother, tell me, brother, I heard that if you drink alcohol, that your prayer is not accepted for 40 days. Brother, what film Hindi is this? Where did you get that from? But that's how shaitan turns you off deen. So I say, even if that's the case, let's say drinking alcohol means that you can't pray for 40 days. Is it really worth it? Is that cup that you're going to drink, is that worth 40 days of your life? I can't pray. Babe, is it worth it? No, you can pray no matter what's happening. Allah simply says in the Quran, do not come to prayer while you're in the state of intoxicants. When you sober up and you know the difference between right and wrong, have you become straight?